What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> hey, look at that. Nothing's changed. Well, at least I'm consistent, right? Well, just figured I'd do an update here before I jump into the grow room. I like to look at what they might become one day instead of seeing those little tiny peppers. But um, one big change that I have noticed, I said last time, that uh, a bunch of these guys, if you notice Mako Kaku, Ghost Pepper, uh, Pink Tiger, Ghost Pepper, and Reaper. <laughs> if you want to call it that, look, that's all the bigger it is. It goes to here. <laughs> it's just that little bit of growth. But, um, yeah, and some crappy looking leaves on there, too. Yeah, at least it's getting bigger, right? Uh, but no, one uh, thing that I just wanted to point out, because I'm so happy about that, and you might have guessed by the title of the uh, video here, um, if you look in here, actually look at this cluster. This is all a ghost pepper right here. Of course, it's not going to focus on it, but look at that one gigantic flower. Look at all of those little pods popping off. Another flower, another flower. Look at these pods all over the place. Not pods, my bad. Flowers, buds, all that stuff going nuts. And that's this back uh, uh, ghost pepper right there. But there are flowers everywhere all over this guy. So... No, none of them actually set. Look, there's another one right there. Some more right over here. They're looking very, very cool. But, uh, yeah, not to my knowledge, I don't think any of these guys have actually set. But uh, look at that. Look how deep that thing goes. All the way to the window. Huh. But anyway, I just wanted to show off. Oh, yeah, we're out of focus. Oh, look at that. It focused. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to show that off. That's really cool. I've never seen that many... Um, buds popping off on one small little branch. That's a, just this little offshoot branch going up right here. That's all of that stuff. Well, I guess there's this little one coming off right here. But still, same plant, one branch, and there's, we're going to do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, just in this area right here. That I was trying to show off. 18. I've never seen that. What is that? Like, uh, a foot. Okay, maybe that's not a foot. Uh, I don't know, like four or five inches, something like that. And there's 18 buds and flowers. That is crazy. And again, these are the ones under my goofy little LED light, which I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but I have, uh, I don't have a timer for it. So I've been unplugging it when I go to sleep and then plugging it back in when I wake up. And then somewhere along the way, I just kind of forgot to unplug it. Uh, so it's been going 24-7. But uh, again, I think majority of the light is coming from outside. And I think that's probably why it's actually flowering and stuff like that. But that was long enough for these little guys. We already know what's going on. The only change is the Mako is out of water. I need to get some more Master Blend mixed up. Throw it in there. But let's go look at the little ones, shall we? Of course it's going to be dark, but uh, alrighty, well, we'll roll with it anyway. Uh, I just wanted to show off my seed starting tray right here. I have a white Vitaly popping up, so that should be in the update somewhat soon. And this guy is the whole reason I'm showing you the seed up, uh, starting tray. That I am probably the most proud of of all of them. That's a habanero. I've never had a habanero come up by seed. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is, but never been able to do it. So, hey, look at that. Look at me go. All right, let's go in the room. All righty, we are back here inside underneath the grow lights. We've got all my little babies all out here in the cups. Go all the way over there. And, yeah, we'll get into those in just one second. Because, well, we'll just do a little flyover, right? Yeah, look at that guy right there. Not looking so hot. Um, yep, couple doing good. Hey, why are you so low in the cup? Um, and that guy not looking so hot. But, the whole point of the video is this right here. Look at that guy. Beautiful looking flower right there. It's got tons of pods popping off. Huh? Maybe I shouldn't put my hand in front of it. Um, you can see all the... Wait, did I just say pods? Buds. Flowers. They're all over the place on this plant. Um, if you look at this little crotch back here, I mean, there are tons of them just starting to pop up right out of the middle of that. Um, 
Oh, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that little guy right there. That's a bud right there. Here's a bud right here. I mean, they are everywhere on this little guy. One right there. Um, wow, look at that. Jeez, oh, man. I swear, half of these just popped out overnight. I looked at them real good last night, and I was very proud. And I knew what I was going to name this video. Oop, there we go. You can see. A nice little flower right down below there. Everything's looking great. But right here, if you look... Yesterday, I saw that the flower was starting to fall off of that. Uh, well, it was a flower. Well, it was a bud. Then it turned into a flower, and then the flower started to close up on me. Look, I don't see another flower closing up on me to show you an example. Well, I guess this one's getting close. It's about to start closing up, and I thought, oh, man, another flower going to drop. Nope. That's my very first indoor bud. Or, ah. Uh, Man, I can't talk today. That is my very first indoor pod. I've never gotten a pod inside the house before. And I guess that's kind of a dumb angle, but you can see how it's got a little pod. It's got like the little line sticking out there, uh, which is always your telltale sign that you actually have a pod. Bang! That's my sugar rush, this big old thing here. And if you remember, this was the guy, I planted that guy probably a year ago now. And it sat out in the greenhouse all year. Well, had a late start out into the greenhouse. Was out there as long as it was. Made it through, what? Two good hard freezes. This little plant. It's the only survivor I have from last year. And, um, I was going to say it never produced anything. No, I produced all kind of stuff last year. So I guess I was wrong on that. But it's definitely still trying to produce. So there's my very first indoor pod. I can't believe it. I've never had a pod inside. I, After all this time, I kind of thought indoor was a great way to get them going. But to actually get fruit set, not a good way to go. The only reason I'm saying that, or the only reason I say that is, and I'm talking about for me, I know, I've seen other people do it, and it's great, I love it, but for me, uh, for me, uh, <clears throat> I just never had good luck with pod setting. I've tried fans, I've tried tapping the branches and everything, trying to do all that. I have not tried an electric toothbrush, which I've heard a lot of people say. Actually, I think Brando just said that on... Yeah, he just demonstrated that on his last live stream. Um, but I've never actually got a pod to set. No matter how much... Those kitchen window peppers. I, every time I walk out there in the morning, I smack my fingers off of the off the branches. And half the time, a couple cups will come falling off that shelf and everything like that. By the way, thank you everybody for giving me suggestions on what to do. I know what to do. And the answer is get another container like this. Put it in here with Master Blend and let them just sit in here until it's time to take them back outside. That's been the plan ever since day one. This thing's dead. It just needs to be pulled out. That could be one ghost pepper. I need another container, and that could be the other ghost pepper. And the pink tiger, bang, solution, done. So I know what to do. It's just having small ones in here and then having this big one in here. i got to have the light at a goofy angle, and I don't want two goofy angles. I don't want to pick these guys up off the ground. I want them as close to the ground as possible. That way it doesn't look like I have a grow room in my house. But, um, you know, it's just... Uh, what I've been trying to do. And anyway, it just keep every week, I'm just like, man, I can't believe they made it another week on that kitchen window, and I just haven't done anything. Anyway, that's long ramble there. I actually had to sit here and make myself a cheat sheet of what everybody is. Otherwise, I'd have to, like, go in and separate them because I'm kind of smart. You can see I've... <laughs> I just said I'm kind of smart. <laughs> okay, so I'm not that smart. So, normally what I like to... <laughs> Oh, man, I'm cracking myself up over here. Normally what I have done in the past, this was an experiment. That's why it was H2O. One had nutrients, one didn't. Uh, obviously, this is not a Carolina Reaper. Um, my, these are actually, I think, my third year using these cups. That's how cheap I am. Um, but the first year, I wrote everything on the out, uh, the outer cup. Dumb idea. If I had a roommate that really wanted to screw with me, all I have to do is come in here, take this cup out, put it in that cup, put that, you know, move them all around, and the next thing you know, I know nothing until I start seeing pods. So I got a little bit smarter and I started writing on the inside cup, 
which eventually that's where they're gonna be anyway because I'm gonna take this cup out and just set them into another reservoir like this and that's why this one says sugar rush peach on it and that's where they're, they're gonna remain so I thought why bother putting all this markings on the outer cup and I quit doing that two years ago so that's how long ago these are look mammoth jalapeno yeah I haven't grown them in a long time um, hey, what's that? Hot chocolate challenge for Todd times six. Hmm, that's weird. Um, but anyway, I started doing it this way, and, well, when you're filming, it's a lot easier when it's written on the outside. That way you can be like, look, it's a Carolina Reaper. Well, you don't have to tell them that. You just kind of, like, leave it off to the side, and you can just kind of barely read, and you're like, I know for a fact that's my Carolina Reaper. Well, anyway. Um, so, anyway, let's just hop into this. So... Let me see here if I got this correcto. Yes. So right here, one of my youngest guys right here. That's an ahi lemon looking awesome. And another ahi lemon looking great. I just transplanted uh, that and this guy right over here. Or, uh, wait a minute. Transplanted two. Weird. All right, I must have already transplanted one of them. But uh, they came from way back here. Remember, I had a bunch of them all in there? Well, I took the two middle ones out. Now I'm just left. Oh, that's right. I had one pop up in a seed tray. Um, and so now I only have those two back there. I'm going to let them get a little bit bigger. This one on the front side is actually probably big enough to transplant. But look at all these other ones I transplanted. And look how little they are. Tiny, tiny little things. Anyway, let me just hop into here. Uh, that one right back there. Let's see if I can get this leaf out of the way. That guy is one of my Sugar Rush Peach. This guy, interesting story on this guy. Started getting all curly and like wrinkly and stuff. Or not wrinkly, but uh, like curling up and stuff like that. And soil completely dry. So I'm like, oh man, I didn't water it. So I watered it. And then it got even worse. Don't know what's going on, but since that's a sugar rush, that is, that one is, and that one, or no, and that one, not very concerned. I think four will be just fine for me. So, I don't know, little guy. I'm not going to give you any more water for a little bit. See what happens. Um, who else do we have here? Aha! Next four up, that guy. Look how beautiful. I love when they're this young. They look so great. This guy... That guy, that guy, and hey, look at that guy. Those are all ahi mangoes, so I am loading up on the ahis. Um, wait a minute. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> the first one I started with, that's a sugar rush. Mango, 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 and mango, and like I said, those are the ahi lemons back there, two more. Why do you have so many ahi lemons? Because I'm trying to stock up on them. That way I can sell them all to Todd. Um, uh, we'll come back to that one because that one's uh, probably the most interesting. Like I said, these two guys are ahi lemon. That one's the youngest, obviously. And these are my two transplants that I just transplanted last night. Next to it, white fatali. Right? Yeah, white fatali. Wait, am I right here? What the heck's going on here? There's two... No, 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 no. Jeez, oh man. I can't even get... I wrote myself a cheat sheet. I can't even use it correctly. I'm not even good at cheating. Okay, let me start all over again. These are my ahi lemon. This is my ahi jibito. Look at that guy. And it, why is it so beautiful looking? And it's that close to the soil? Because I transplanted it. Right next to it, same thing, ahi jibito. Um, then... Oh, yeah. Then I've got my white fatale here. Little tiny, tiny little guy. It just popped up, uh, reached all the way up, touched the top of the seed starting tray. That's why I pulled him out and threw him in here. Be perfectly honest, that was like six days ago or something like that. Yeah, I think the day after I made the last video. It, I don't think it's done a dang thing. So I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't look dead. So that's A-OK -okay with me. The next two guys um, is the, I believe it's pronounced the Kiro Cream. And that's that beautiful little guy. And how about this? Well, first off, there's some weird bug in the far corner there. But how about this one? It has uh, first leaves on it, and it's got three. I've only had, I don't know, I don't know, out of, out of maybe, I don't know, 100, 150 different peppers I've grown. I think I've only seen that once or twice. So that's very cool. And then I've got my, haha, brand new um, kind of pepper here. 
Yellow Naga Brain. Look how tiny that little guy is. Why do they look so tiny? Because I buried them. I don't know if that works or not, but I'd do it anyway. Just so it makes me feel like they're not leggy. Like this guy, kind of looking leggy. This one is actually a very neat uh, example. If you watched... Uh, I don't even remember which live stream it was, but one of the live streams I was talking about, I was going to transplant. It was actually this guy, and I ended up breaking the roots. And I was like, ah, whatever. I just dropped it right in the seed starting tray. Well, this guy does not want to die. It um, found a tiny little bit of moisture inside the tray, because that tray is almost completely dry. But I guess on the non-heat pad side of it, there was a little tiny bit of uh, moisture. This guy actually started growing it looked like this guy right here where it's all closed up and within a day or two it opened right up and just started getting leggy on me so i thought what the heck so it's in here and it is labeled as my mystery pepper because i cannot remember which one it was i want to say it was a white fatale but i'm not exactly sure but i already have one white fatale so if nothing else pops up out of that or actually i guess i should say if one more pops up out of that this should not be a white fatale, but I kind of think that's what it is. So, wow, talk about a long freaking update. I guess it's all me with my cheat sheet trying to be all smart about it. Like, oh, look, I got all my information down and then totally screwing it up. Way to go, man. But anyway, just wanted to show off my little baby. Oh, here's this guy here. Uh, Got to look back at the cheat sheet. Uh, the ahi mango over here, which I have four of. This one also is doing the same thing. It's kind of, It kind of had some curly leaves, and then uh, it was the bottom two that are drooped right now. And I don't know. It just kind of, I don't know, almost dropped the leaves. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. The top part looks okay, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And I guess with that, that's about it. I'll wrap this sucker up. Uh, my camera has the red light on, meaning the batteries are just about dead, so... Thanks for hanging out with me and checking out my peppers and especially my first pod right there. Hopefully it'll get big and when it does, you'll see it because I will show it off in the updates. But like I said, thanks for hanging out with me. As always, go down in the, I ask everybody to go down in the comments section, leave a comment, not just for me. I love the comments, but for uh, other people, future people that uh, watch this video. Because I encourage everybody to hop into the comments section, find someone new that makes content, subscribe to them, watch all their videos, give them tons of thumbs up. You can do that for me if you want, I don't care. Um, and uh, yeah, leave lots of comments on their video, and we'll just get this social media thing uh, working there. So uh, as always, there's the Mystery Amazon link down below. You can also uh, check me out on the social stuff like uh, the Patreon.com slash RevToesTV, the Instagram.com slash RevToesTV. You can go over there and make fun of me for not using it as much as I should. Or the Twitter.com slash RevToesTV. You can go over there and make fun of me for not using it as much as I should. But anyway, that's about it. Uh, do all that. Uh, fun, happy social media stuff down below. And I will catch y'all in the next video. So, till then. Later. Oh yeah, by the way, live streams, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 o'clock Eastern. Might change it till 9 o'clock Eastern. That, will be made, that decision will be made after this video has been made and before it was actually put up. So maybe I'll remember to put it in the description. Maybe you'll remind me in the comments. That was like a weird little outro. All right, now the camera's really mad because the battery's about dead. I gotta get out of here. Later. Really focused? Okay, I guess so. Because well, it's gonna get. Maybe I should have cleaned the screen a little bit.